judges. One of the one of the uh, president's most important duties is appointing judges who shape our country's law. Just judges matters. Um, the local justice that you can vote for. So that's one reason to vote in like uh, the elections as well too, because you can vote for local judges, and that can like matter, especially if like you or somebody you know were at a protest and they've been arrested for Trump's charges. They have an easier time of like not going to jail if the judge that they're in front of is not a piece of shit. So can I remember that when like voting that you can vote for judges and trying to vote for judges that are not pieces of shit. If you can, there are some judges that like just go unopposed, or like there's only one choice you have, or one person running, something like that. And some, and some like DAs or like district attorneys or other positions are just like empty, that uh, waiting for someone to run for this in order to fill it. So there you go. Continue on. Uh, they have like the power to uphold basic rights and to like roll them back. They hear cases that decide whether women have like the freedom to make their own reproductive like healthcare choices, not just women, but like anyone with wombs so, of like uh, women, trans men, and non-binary folk. Continue on. Um, whether Americans have the freedom to cast their ballots, whether workers have the freedom to unionize and make a living wage for their families, everyone should like have a minimum wage should be a living wage. The minimum wage should be a thriving wage. So F O I. I do not want to, like, demonize someone for just working at McDonald's or think that, like, it's only high schoolers should be working at McDonald's as well, too. But especially if they offer breakfast, breakfast like, before 11 a.m., before 10.30 a.m. If, like, McDonald's is, like, open from, like, 8 a.m. to, like, 10 p.m. and something like that, it's not just, just going to be high schoolers that's working in those jobs. Because you're getting brunch or, like, coffee from McDonald's during the day. Someone that's not in high school has to, like, work that job. So that's why, even working at McDonald's, you should be able to make a thriving wage. And I don't care if, like, someone who's, like, flipping burgers is, like, making as much money as me. I don't make that much money anyway. Uh, but, yeah, that's Joe McClory says. He's, like, making simply more money in his current job than he did when he worked at uh, fast food. But, yeah, he wouldn't want to do that job ever again because it's a terrible job. It's a shit job. But yet, some people would love to like make you know, like a uh, chicken at like a KFC. I wish they could be able to like work a f uh, full time job cooking chicken at KFC and be able to feed their family. But like, if you're living in Alabama, you are unable to do that, or any other place where the state uh, uh, minimum wage is the federal minimum wage is some dollars and twenty five cents an hour. Continue on. Um, Uh, so whether like uh, workers have the freedom to unionize and make a living wage for their families, that's what I read. And continue on. Whether children have the freedom to breathe clean air and drink clean water, or whether a president is above the law. Clean drinking water. Does Flint, Michigan, finally have clean water now? How many years has like Flint, Michigan, been struggling to like have clean water? And does isn't Nestle just like profiting off the water that they are able to siphon out of like uh Michigan or that area and the profit off of it and to sell bottled water when like the citizens of that area need clean water and they're not getting it? Anyway, continue on. Uh, judicial appointments are crucial at every level of the federal branch, uh, but nowhere more so than the Supreme Court. The next president could appoint one, two, or more new Supreme Court justices. If they impeach some of those Supreme Court justices, like uh, Clarence Thomas, then you're like, yes, and we might. The next president might be able to appoint a Supreme Court justice, but I don't know if like Clarence Thomas is going to be impeached anytime soon. Uh, but anyway, continue on. These justices will determine what freedoms Americans have or lose for the next like 30, 40, or even 50 years. The choice is clear. President Biden appointed uh, Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson, the first black woman ever named to the Supreme Court, who has like stood up for Americans' rights and like freedoms throughout uh, her career on the bench. Uh, Trump handpicked three justices who like uh, pushed a uh, far right agenda and devastating with devastating consequences. The court attacked a wide range of long established like American legal principles from momentary row and eliminating the rights to choose to like weakening the voting rights aids and like civil rights to granting immunities for presidential crimes and in fact undermines the rule of law that's remember the uh, the one the founding fathers that like they became and founded and like uh, created what we know as the supreme court and the justice system as it is now said like those who own the country should rule it 
so that, so that's why I don't have like faith of like the Democrats are like, doing anything to prove the Supreme Court is this, unless they're able to get like uh, Clarence Thomas to be impeached or the other justices to be impeached if they have impeachable offenses, is or be able to expand the courts or be or like institute like um, an eighteen-year service as well too, or maybe allow us to like federally elect our judges and have that be by popular vote too. I think that the fact that it was like it was the Senate and like that's the president did like the select the and point the justices, which are a lifetime points as well too, to the benches of the federal courts as well too. I think that was deliberate in order to, for the uh, political elites as well to rich elites that like fund the political elites to like maintain their power. Again, those who like own the country should rule it. Get you on. Uh, if he's elected again, Trump will appoint more justices in the same mold. His uh, past Supreme Court uh, shortlist has always been like that, but far like ideologues. Trump made that, uh, but well, he's not the only one. There was like a lot of uh, like, far right wing ideologues that would made it onto the court before Trump as well too. And that's what then the what the fascists what the, again, again the Tuckling Party since 1968 has always been the white supremacist party. It just like like then 20 after 2016 they've been openly the white supremacist party. They've just been open about their white supremacy and not like saying the quiet part out and just saying the quiet part out loud. Because uh, remember, Clarence Thomas, Anthony Scalia, Donald Trump did not appoint them. Uh, yes, there's a whole thing about Mitch McConnell just like withholding the seat, an open seat in the Supreme Court justice, just to wait until for a Republican president to be elected. And like Obama could have like used his executive power and doing something like a uh, extra uh, constitutional and like appoint the justice himself if he wanted to, but he wanted to go high. He wanted to, he wanted to follow the rules of law of like the uh, liberal system. So follow the rules, follow the rules, follow the rules. Even when like a someone, even when the Republican Party were clearly breaking the rules or like preventing him from following the rules or not following the rules themselves. You know, the Democrats want to like be like consistent and play clean, while like the Thugmans doesn't care about like how they perceive as well too. They don't care if they're considered to be hypocrites. They don't care. They don't care. They want to overturn abortion, and they did. Continue on. Trump made clear in his first term that his goals was to appoint as many far right wing judges as he could, regardless of qualification. Even appointing a lifetime seat series is of candidates deemed not qualified by the American Bar Association. I wonder how they get to be judges in the first place anyway, but like, it's still. Continue on. While President Biden has like sought to appoint uh, judges who look like America, uh, three quarters of Trump's like judicial like appointees were like men and 85 and 4% were white. Uh, Trump and they kept like stacking the courts while with extreme conservatives. The far right will finally uh, will have final say over our laws for decades to come, weakening or even uh, weakening, reckoning even more havoc on our system of checks and balances, and the consequences of our, our country will be devastated. I mean, how much checks and balances if like one like branch is not having checks and balances against them? Or like the like how they are going to like not have as much corruption in like their branch is if like they just you know honor system. Okay, right here. This is where I last live up. Continue. Uh, President Biden will continue to appoint justices and judges across the federal bench who are uh, like just. Uh, Justice Jackson's brilliant the jurist is uh, committed to defending American rights and freedoms. I mean, it's like, as justice goes, like, I can think of John Chicago and Brown since the bit better than, like, uh, all the other fascists that, like, um, Trump and the Republican supporters will tell us all. There's that. If we're going to have a Supreme Court, that's over too. Yeah, I might as well make it, like, be able to, uh, more justice like Jackson's will tell Yeah, sure. Uh, continue on. Uh, judges should reflect the diversity population whose laws they shape, and President Biden has uh, appointed in more than like 200 highly qualified federal judges who look like Americans. Nearly two thirds of the judges he appointed have been like women, and nearly two thirds have been like uh, people of color. Uh, President Biden has appointed more black women to federal like uh, circuit courts than every other person. Probably more Latina uh, judges has been confirmed to the circuit courts than under. Any other any other president, more Asian American Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander. I had to remember what that acronym was. Uh, judges have been like confirmed in than any other like administration, and on, and after only one term, he already 
time for the most openly LGBTQIA plus judges uh, appointed. Um, I kind of go into like a whole thing about like how liberals and things that uh, like in order to like solve the problems of like the justice system, it's just like hire more women guards, and they're kind of toting this and being proud of all that as well too. But that's because like the liberals, especially the Democrats, are not like a critical of the just they're not too critical of the justice system as well too. It's more like everything else with liberals and no, the current system is fine. We just need to tweak it to be better. And like I have like harsh criticisms of the system. Period. Continue on. Uh, President uh, Biden has also like uh, chosen judges for diverse like professional backgrounds, ensuring a range of perspectives and experiences are represented on the federal bench. At least uh, forty of his like judicial appointees are former public defenders, and at least twenty-five have served as civil rights lawyers. Here is at least nine have represented workers. No, nine have represented workers, but okay. I think there's like very limited like uh, <laughs> judges and like uh, lawyers that represent workers, so there's that I guess. Uh, continue on. And uh, President Biden's like second term. He they forgot to update this. When did they wrote this? This is like the second time that like it's like President Biden's second term. He has dropped out. He has dropped out of the race. It's not going to be like a uh, president Biden. It's vice. It's going to be like a uh, Kamala Harris. Okay, I guess like this was written before like a uh, president Biden dropped out. I'm just going to go. Yeah, this was at the the, the DNC. They talk about the DNC and they're recognizing the indigenous people whose plans that they're on. At the beginning of this like document. Okay, fine. It's going to be a long read still. So yes. In President Biden's second term, which is fictional, uh, he will continue selecting judges who will protect fundamental rights and who represent diversity of Americans' experiences. He will push for a Supreme Court that follows the rules of laws and, perfect, and protects uh, people's uh, freedoms and like abides by the highest like ethical standards. Uh, but he won't do that because he's not going to be president for like a second term. He dropped out. So I, don't, I have no clue what Kamala Harris is going to do. At least not for this document.